All right, so let's create the outside section of this wall. I'm going to start off by creating a polygon cube. To my front view. This is lined up with the floor. If I press the plus key, I can see that that arrow lines up with the. Let's go to that back wall where the door is. And I'll move this down. Alright. Minus key. Okay. And I know I need to put a hole in this wall. There's. Um, a lot of stuff going on here, so let's first put the hole in this particular wall. Right. So for the face, it's like both for the face front and back. Control E, change the offset, and now I'm going to go to face, delete all that. Click on the vertices here, here, press W, and we'll move them down to about here. Something like that. Okay. And I can always select these vertices and move them out a little more. I'll highlight all of the bottom ones. Press R, hold J, snap it flat. Now we need to fill in the inside of this shape because it's hollow. So if I hold shift, right mouse click and hold, I go to the append a polygon tool, which is also found under mesh tools or append a polygon. And we have to click on uh, parallel edges. So left mouse click here and then left mouse click there and press return key. I'll press Y, repeat the previous command and do the same thing for uh, all three parts. Now you're going to notice that the normals look a little bit off, so we'll go to the mesh display, harden edge, and there we go. Alright, perfect. Alright, next thing that we need to do is add the uh, detail of that. So, um, what I can see from this image is that it kind of curves like this, probably goes down, and then there is that little slot. So no, this is um, going to be a loft and let's create that shape. Actually I'm going to use that shape. So let's go to create curve tool, EP curve and I'm just going to zoom in on the screen. Click here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12 edges are control vertex points. I'm going to erase that grease pencil tool. I'll press F to frame in. Close that. I'll press control 1 so we can focus in on this object. And now we'll go to control vertex. I'll highlight all of these vertices. Press R, hold J, and snap them flat. Okay. I want a harder edge, I'll just select these guys and bring them down like that. If we want this to be a little bit sharper, we right mouse click, curve point, click here, go to curve, insert not, and now we have an extra control vertex point. There we go. Now let's go to object mode. I'm going to modify center pivot. Paint the fire. Let's zoom in. I'll hold D, hold C, snap this to the curve. All right. I'll hold V and snap this to this edge here. So I'll press F to frame in. All right. I probably want this shape to be on the inside of here, this door. But I am going to take the faces here and make them a little bit wider, give it a little more depth. Okay, so here's our shape, our object. Let's go to object mode, the curve, and 
you know what, I'm just going to push it there. So I'll press Control D, and I'll hold V, and it'll snap to this edge, and press 4 to see it in wireframe. I'll hold Shift to select that curve, so we have two curves selected. I'll press 5 to see it in shaded mode. Surfaces, loft, option box. Um, we're going to do polygon, quads, general, um, ISO, first band number of ISO palms, um, and we'll change that to value of 2 and 2, and we'll click loft, and I'll press F to see that shape, so there we go, alright, that's the first shape. Let's go back into our front view, control 1 to bring that back, and <clears throat> we need to create this object here. Now, I could do a series of lofts, which I think I am going to. So let me draw the shape that I can see from here. Um, so I, I think I see it curves here at a 45 degree angle. It looks like it curves back in and then it rounds off right there. That's the shape that I can see. So let me try to draw that. Um, so let's go to create curve tool, EP curve. And I'll start here. I'll go straight down. Let me zoom in a little bit. And I'll hold shift. And now I'm going to bring this curve back. Bring it around, because I know it kind of curves like this. And I'll do that. And then let's bring it flat. And then I actually, this is going to be the part where the window is um, going to rest in. So let's do that. Press return. All right. Hold shift, modify center pivot, hold D, and I'll hold C snap this. Actually, let's go to our perspective view. Press F. Control 1. Hold D. Hold C. There we go. Alright, press Control 1 again. And we're going to rotate this guy 45 degree angles. Alright. And I think I want to give it a little bit more length. Alright. Okay. So, press E. Hold J. And 45. Let's go into our control box and you can see it's, it's not 45 degree angle. One more time. There we go. All right. Now, this at a 45 degree angle doesn't look as though it's as um, the length of it. So um, I'll press R. Now, my scale tool is on the component mode, or actually world mode. I apologize. Object mode. Um, and so to get into object mode, we double click on scale and we could change this from world to component to object, all right? But I actually want to use my move tool and I want my move tool to be along the component. So now when I go to control vertex, all right, let's, there we go. And I'm just going to extend that a little bit longer. Perfect. All right. As you know, we have to change this back to world. And I have to move my manipulator tool right there. So this is obviously a long way of doing it. If you create that shape the way you it should be in the beginning, you shouldn't have to do all of that. Um, I'm just going to scale it up a little more. Alright, so now we'll hold V, snap this right here, and I'm going to move it down, I'll move it here, and probably like behind this object, okay, now I'm just going to press control D, and move this guy over here, I'll hold V to snap it to that wall, press E, hold J, and bring it back that way, 45, Hold shift, select that one, 
control D and move this guy down. And then I'm going to modify freeze transformation. Control G to turn into a group. Modify center pivot. And we're going to change the scale Y to negative 1. And now, put these guys there. Just like this one, that one. Surface is loft. Okay, loft. Let's select this guy. That one, loft. That one, press G to loft. And then press G. Alright, so now, let's turn off the wireframe. So we have that kind of um, shape there on the wall. Okay. And then I'll select all four of these guys. I'll go to Mesh Combine. Okay. And I'll isolate this by pressing Control 1. Okay. And I'm going to hold D and V and snap this guy right to the center of this shape. Press Control D, change the scale X to negative one, and then I'll hold Shift, Mesh, Combine. So now we have this like double-sided. You see, right there. I'm going to Edit Mesh, Merge, and now I could simply select, let's say, um, that face. Probably should be a little bit thicker. Alright, so I'll select those two faces here. Oops. And I'll go up. Hold shift like that one and that one as well. And now I'll press control E, W, move this over. Like that. Alright, so those two faces here. I'll hold shift and select those. And we'll go to Edit Mesh, Extract, so now we have this piece of geometry, which is separate from the other. Alright, so I'll go to Vertex and just kind of move these guys over, like that. And I'm just going to assign a basic material to this object so we can see through it, so right mouse click, Assign New Material. I'll just use like a Lambert, I'll call this Glass. Now this isn't going to be our final um, material, we're going to use AI standard, but just for the sake of this tutorial so we can see through it, change the transparency down like that, and there you go, right? So that's your glass window. Alright, we'll press control 1, and we probably need to add the outside of this shape, so let's go outside. Let's select uh, that edge, that edge, control E, W, Move this like that. Now we obviously have um, uh, every object that needs to be reversed, so it's like that face. Mesh display reverse. I'll select both of these uh, faces here. Edit mesh, extract. We'll select that edge here. Press W. We'll hold V and we'll snap it there to create the floor. Um, and then we can simply. Just select this edge, Control E, W, and then let's move it underneath that object there. Okay. And uh, next thing that we probably need to do is add the railing here. So I know that when we texture, um, I'm just going to extrude one more time so I can always extract that face for the uh, that shape. All right, now. Uh, we have to create that handrail. So it's very simple. After creating all of these uh, lofts and revolves, and, uh, well, not revolves, but lofts, I'm pretty sure this should become a little easier. So, uh, something as simple as a handrail. I can create the handrail, move it up, move it over. All right. um, I think it's probably a little bit thinner than that. W, move it up, move it there, and 
go back to my front view, take my reference image, move it there, and I'll press forward. That's my handrail. Try to get it at the same height. So I just press the plus arrow minus key. Alright, here we go. Last but not least, simply um, press control D. Press R to scale it down. Press W, move it down like this. Move this guy over. I'll go to the vertex. I'll hold V, snap it down. It's like that vertex. And then there we go. Now, what I want to do is uh, zero out uh, my uh, translate. So I go to modify, freeze transformation. I'll press Control D, move this guy over. That I think that value it says one. We change it one point six, and I moved it in the translate Z axis. All right, so now it's like this guy. I go to Edit, Duplicate Special, Reset this. This is my X, Y, Z. I change that to one point six, and let's say we want about twelve of those guys. Duplicate special, and now they're. Uh, let's add a little bit more. So edit, duplicate special option box, and let's change that to like 20. Duplicate special, and there we go. So um, I hope this helps. If you want to add uh, the wall, Control E W, move that over like this. And then control E again to make the, the door width. Control E, W, move it forward. Press the G and then W and move this over like that. G and then W and then there's our, uh, our apartment complex, condo, just like that. So, hope you enjoy this tutorial.